Hello and welcome to the GCSE Maths Question of the Week with me, Mr. Barton, where every week I pick you out a lovely GCSE Maths question that has been written exclusively for my Diagnostic Questions website and which is causing no end of problems for GCSE Maths students all around the country. Now, this particular one is causing problems because it's brand new to GCSE and you need to be aware of it. Um, you thought you knew sequences, you thought they were dead easy. They still are, but there's a new bit to them. So let's take a look at it. Tom says 2, 6, 8, 16, 32 is a geometric progression. What the flipping heck is Tom on about there? John, I mean, <laughs> what a conversation these two are having, says 5, 10, 20, and 40 is a geometric progression. Bottom line, who's right? Tom, John, whatever. Now, before we answer this, obviously we've got to know what a geometric progression is. What is a geometric progression? Well, a geometric progression is a sequence that goes up by regular amounts, but not in the traditional way that you might think of a linear sequence. Because instead of going up by regular amounts being added on, it goes up by being multiplied. It has what we call a common ratio. So a classic example um, of this would be something like, say you start with, I don't know, six. Every time you double it. So it goes up by a factor of two, six, then it would go to 12, then you would double it again, it would go to 24 and so on. And as long as that common ratio keeps going all the way through, then it is a geometric progression or a geometric sequence. Okay, so armed with that knowledge, let's have a look at Tom's sequence. So Tom's goes two, six, eight, 16, 32. Now, is there a common ratio between those? Well, to get from two to six, you times by three. To get from six to eight, geez, you certainly don't times by three. And in fact, you times by something a little bit nasty, which I think is eight over six, which is a little bit horrible. To get from eight to 16, you times by two. And to get from 16 to 32, you times by two. Tom's is not a geometric sequence or a geometric progression because while some of the ratios are the same, times in by two, crucially, they are not all the same. Can you see, by the way, what Tom's done there? If Tom changed that, I think, to a four, then I think we'd have one. Then times in by two every time would work. But as things stand, unfortunately, Tom doesn't have a geometric progression. What about Tom's best mate, John? Well, he's got 5, 10, 20, and 40. Has John got one? Well, to get from 5 to 10, you times by 2. Strong start. 10 to 20, you times by 2. 20 to 40, you times by 2. So as far as we can tell, John's is a geometric progression. So Tom is incorrect. John is correct. So I think B is the right answer to this one. But as I always say on these, we're only scratching the surface if we stop there, because it's very important to understand where students may go wrong. So why might you think Tom's is a geometric progression? Well, you might think this because you might be used to seeing the most simple geometric progression, two, four, uh, two, four, eight, 16, 32. And if you just glance at the two and glance at the 16 and 32 and don't notice this six, you may think that Tom has done a geometric progression. And why might you think John is wrong? Well, this is quite interesting. You might not know that geometric progressions can start on any number. You might think they have to start on two, but they don't. As long as they go up by the same amount each time, you're absolutely fine, okay? And I just wanna leave you with something to think about here, maybe a little bit of research. Um, I'm gonna write a sequence down now, and I want you to tell me, is this a geometric progression? If so, why? And if not, why not? And my sequence goes like this, 50, 25, 12.5, 6.25, and so on. Is that a geometric progression? Have a think about it. If you think, oh, flipping heck, this is a set off a few alarm bells, I need some help on this, try the quiz out um, uh, that there's a link to here, um, and that'll really put you to the test with all types of sequences. And also hop on to my website and you'll find videos, worksheets, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you for a fresh question of the week next week. Take care, bye for now.